crucial details about Sophocles' life have been preserved, despite the fact that the biography is incomplete and sketchy at best. A 12th century manuscript titled Sophocles, His Life and Works in a Greek Dictionary, titled the Sura Lexicon from the 10th century, provide the bulk of the limited information we have about Sophocles. He was born around 496 BCE in the Greek city of Colonus, not far from the national capital of Athens. His father, the senior Sophocles, was a powerful politician and a wealthy arms dealer. Being born into a wealthy family in Athens ensured Sophocles a prominent position in the city's political and artistic communities. A boy's education in wealthy Greek households centered on reading, writing, arithmetic in the four arts, poetry, music, dance, and gymnastics. Sophocles was no exception. His early education and experiences in many fields enabled him to grow into a powerful figure in politics, diplomacy, and the arts. Sophocles' early powers in dance and music was evident. He was the youngest member of the boys' chorus at the age of 15. He was tasked with leading a triumphian in the honour of the Athenian naval victory over the Persians at the Battle of Salamis. Sophocles' early success foreshadowed his later roles as a prominent Greek artist and active citizen. A contemporary biographer who wishes to remain anonymous suggests that Sophocles was profoundly influenced by Homer, the greatest of the Greek poets. One possible source of inspiration for Sophocles was the Greek dramatist Achilles. It seems clear from this that Sophocles valued his initial success on the stage greatly. The 468 BC, his play Trimptus, performed at the competition, took first place. The tragedies of Asiphylax came in school. Sophocles, who lived for an entire century, made many important contributions to Athens' government and culture. Sophocles was a diplomat, a general, and a priest to the minor healing deity Alcipius, in addition to being a playwright. Athenian democracy demanding citizen engagement in all elements of government, even if some of his public duty appeared outside his professional training as a playwright. Athenian statesman Pericles appointed Sophocles treasurer of the Delian Confederacy in 443 BC. Sophocles was responsible for levying taxes on the states that recognized Athens' authority as Helentomius. He became the empire's de facto spokesman as a result of his taxation strategies, which raised Athens standing throughout the Mediterranean. Sophocles led the encamped troops of Athens during the siege of Samos in 440 BC. A second term as general might have been bestowed upon him in 426 BC. Due to the tragic events of the year 413 BC, he was a member of the commission of the Athenians established after the military defeat in Sicily to figure out what went wrong. To end the decisive Peloponnesian War, Sophocles negotiated a peace treaty on behalf of the Athens and its allies. Play writing was not Sophocles' only accomplishment. He was also a successful businessman and politician. There are only a few fragments left, including some book titles. A Sophoclean drama named The Ichunu was found on the Egyptian Purpose in 1907. It's several hundred words long, so it'll take some time to read. Perhaps other long-lost plays will be rediscovered one day, but that day seems pretty remote at the moment. Ajax, Etigone, Electra, Odypaeus, and the King, the Trachinine Pilosophians, and Odypaeus at Colonus are some of the Sophocles plays that have stood the test of time and contribution to his current reputation. Odypaeus the King, written by Sophocles in 430 BCE, is generally considered his best play. 
the tragic tale of Odipus doomed to murder his father and marry his mother is recounted. Sophocles dramatizes Hercules' death in the Trachan and the Trojan War in Philoctetes. The three plays that make up the Odipus tri- Odipus trilogy, Odipus the King, Odipus Acolonus and Antigone, are the most famous and often staged examples of classical Greek drama. Even though there are some obvious connections between the three plays, Sophocles never intended for them to be performed together. Each of the three plays in the Oedipus trilogy reaches this ending, which Aristotle said was present in all tragedies. The only part of Sophocles that will likely survive the age in his written works His words and stories have such power that they continue to captivate readers over 2400 years after they were first published.